Welcome back to TM Academy. Okay, so let's have another set of the differentiation of trigonometric functions. Okay, we have the t over dx or the derivative of the cosecant x is equal to the negative cosecant x cotangent x or the d over dx of the cosecant u is equal to the negative cosecant u cotangent u times the d over dx using the chain rule. Okay, and we also have the derivative of the secant x is equal to the secant x tangent x or using the chain rule the d over dx of the secant u is equal to the secant u tangent u times the du over dx and lastly we have the derivative of the cotangent x And this is equal to the negative of cosecant square x. Okay, so to understand more the differentiation of these uh, three trigger functions, let's have a sample problem. Okay, let's have the function of y is equal to the cotangent of, let's say, 9x minus 5. Okay, again, our function of y is equal to the cotangent of 9x minus 5. Okay, so we have, uh, we will let u be equal to 9x minus 5. And our function of y is equal to the cotangent u. Okay, so we have the dy over dx is equal to the dy over du multiplied by the du over dx. Okay, that is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u. Our function of y is cotangent u. Multiply it by the derivative of u, which is the 9x minus 5 with respect to x. Okay, our dy over dx is equal to the derivative of cotangent u is negative um, cosecant square u, right? Derivative of cotangent u with respect to u is negative cosecant square u. Okay, multiply it by the derivative of 9x minus 5, that is 9. Okay, so if we're going to multiply this, negative cosecant square u multiplied by 9, we have negative 9 cosecant square u. Okay, so finally, our derivative or the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to negative 9 cosecant square of u, which is 9x minus 5. Okay, so this is the derivative of the given function. Okay, so let's have another problem. Okay, our function of y is equal to, let's say I have 4 um, secant of 
3x squared minus 11x plus 2. Okay, so our solution, we will let u be equal to 3x squared minus 11x plus 2. And our function of y is 4 secant of u. Okay, using um, the chain rule, we have the dy over dx is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u. Multiply it by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, d over du of function of y, which is for secant u. Multiply it by the d over dx of u, which is the 3x squared minus 11x plus 2. Okay, so the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to... Okay, so using um, the constant multiple rule for differentiation, so we have the 4 d over du of secant u times the d over dx of 3x squared minus 11x plus 2. Okay, so dy over dx or the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 4. Multiply it by derivative of secant u is um, secant u tangent u. Multiply it by the derivative of 3x squared minus 11x plus 2. This is 6x minus 11. Okay, and this is equal to 4. 6x minus 11. Multiply it by the secant u tangent u. Okay, so lastly, our dy over dx is equal to Four times six x minus eleven times the secant of u, which is the three x square minus um, minus eleven x plus two times the tangent of three x square minus eleven x plus 2. Okay, so this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, so let's have another problem. Okay, we have function of y is equal to the cosecant of, let's say we have um, cosecant of 2x squared minus 8x plus 4. Okay, so we will let u be equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 4. So our function of y is now cosecant u. Okay, so our dy over dx is equal to using the chain rule, the derivative of y uh, with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, this is equal to the d over du of y, which is the cosecant u, times the d over dx of uh, u, which is 2x squared minus 8x plus 4. Okay, so dy over dx is equal to um, what is the derivative of cosecant u? 
that is negative cosecant u, cotangent u, multiplied by the derivative of 2x squared minus 8x plus 4, that is 4x minus 8. Okay, so our dy over dx is equal to the negative of 4x minus 8 because we have negative here. Multiply it by the cosecant u, cotangent u. Okay, so finally, our derivative of y with respect to x is negative of 4x minus 8. Multiply it by the cosecant of u, which is 2x squared minus 8x plus 4. Multiply it by the cotangent of u, which is also the 2x squared minus 8x plus 4. Okay, so this is the derivative of y with respect to x. There you go. Thank you for watching.